there. I want to share a story with you. Go ahead. And uh, I went to a Chinese doctor with a punch list. I had things that were wrong with me. And in the diagnosis, I'll never forget it. You know, I removed my shirt and I had on, I wore shorts with sweatpants. And so I got down to my shorts. And this little lady, she went in there and she pressed. She says, you've got a blockage. Okay, how can you tell? I can tell. That's why you got high blood pressure. She went down my legs and she felt of my lower lat calf muscle on my left leg and on my right. She says, you got a blockage in your left leg. Now the thing about it is, I didn't tell her this, but when I would run, I would cramp in my left calf muscle. There was a blockage there. And that, when she told me that, it made sense. And so the whole body approach is Eastern medicine for sure. And like you said, they do that rather than a symptom. That if I had said the same thing to a Western doctor, they would have told me to uh, eat more bananas or do something like that. Put something in. Something. Yeah, exactly. And so now let me ask you this and tie this back to your approach. You're going to oxygenate and everything's going to, I should be able to fix this blockage in my, in my we, we, we We can fix it instantly <laughs> for a period. Uh, and I understand this because the environment we're in, like you said, we've created a, basically a toxic environment. The Western condition, as you call it. Uh, I don't know if you know this, but there was a paper that went before Congress. And uh, they, in the paper, it said that our soils are depleted of minerals. And within the next 40 years, we're going to see the population, large numbers, come up with diseases that are mineral deficiency diseases. And you know when that paper went before Congress? 1925. 1925. That was in 1925. And today we have all these problems. We're sitting right here in front of a pond right now. Right. Uh, that's full of water, partly because we were pumping, but partly from, from the rain. We had just a frog choke over a rain yesterday. Yes, we did. And about every 10 to 15 minutes of the rain, I tested the rain. The rain tested acid yeah. the entire time it was falling. I never got alkaline rain. And one of the things I'm working with is, is studying rain and the earth science side of it is very often people smell, you, you smell rain. Sometimes you walk out and it's kind of a thick rain, kind of you could thick enough to taste, thick enough to chew. Right. And it's just, you typically go, well, that's raining on the pavement and it's hot and all of that. Well, that's not it at all. You can test that rain and you will find out that that thick rain is typically an acidic rain. Very often people think, oh, it's great sleeping weather. It's great sleeping weather because you have an oxygen, I mean, the lower pressure, you have less oxygen in your body. And I explain how that works in the book. The thing is, we've made an assumption. There's people raising hell out there right now because it's unlawful in places to catch rain. Well, the rain that we're having today is not the rain that we had as kids with all the pollution all that's coming down. What we're finding is the rain today is washing out minerals. I'm not trying I'm not trying to scare people. I'm just saying be aware. Take your pool test or anybody can do it. Go test your rainfall and you'll find that it's low mineral. Now, if, you're, if your animals are out in it, they're being robbed of minerals. If you're feeding your animals in it, Rob the minerals. If you're out in it, rob the minerals. Now as that water falls down the atmosphere, it goes into the aquifers and all like that, rob the minerals. And processed water, I go through processed water, I go through share a whole bunch of things. Me and a friend of mine, we just tested, you know, a whole bunch of, of bottled waters. Most of your bottled waters are toxic. A lot of them are toxic. If you follow your doctor's instructions and drink six to eight glasses of water a day, the kind of water that we're being that's being produced and presented to us you will be sick. And I tell you in the book how our water's toxic, why it's toxic, what it's doing to us, and how to undo it. The thing is, it's, it's no longer going, we're no longer going into a world where it's about what to put in, it's about what to take out. Take out the blocking agent. Hi, this is Ted Whitten of thebraincan.com. We've initiated a, a book project that will probably be limited in scope. We anticipate people will try to shut this book down. In the book, we show you the answer to cancer, a simple solution to the Western condition. The Western condition is a term, a, an umbrella term we've used to throw over all conventionally modern sickness because they all have a common denominator. One thing, the common denominator set, 
Virtually all sickness in the body has a toxic gas buildup associated with every known sickness, pain, or ailment of mankind. Once that toxic gas buildup is remediated, virtually all sickness goes away.